Good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning, guys. I just wanted to talk about, yeah, I'm always talking about mental health and well-being with your dogs. And uh, I think such a big part of that is feeling thankful. Um, so when I'm thankful, oh, look at those guys. Um, when I'm thankful, I'm so much happier. And my dogs are happier when I'm happier. We talk a lot. Um, it, the older, older dog trainers talked a lot about, you know, body language and how we have to, uh, it, you know, project certain kinds of energy and things like that. And I, I I'm not a big fan of woo-woo science, um, yeah, but there's there's some things to be said for for the the woo-woo stuff, and that's that a lot of times we. Um, find out things experimentally uh, in, an, in an informal fashion. So, <laughs> sorry about the bounciness of the video here. Um, by, by trial and error, and uh, we don't really know why it works or what's going, what's the mechanisms are, but we and, and often our explanations of that are quite silly. But what we do end up with is some kind of an idea of what is... Um, some things that actually work, you know, the 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 invention of aspirin, um, which comes from willow bark, was something along those lines. It's old, old, old uh, wisdom uh, from Indians. So I think the same thing occurs in dogs and our body language. And um, there's actually been recent research which shows that dogs read our body language and our facial expressions extremely well. And as far as we know, they're the only animal that has uh, the same kind of facial recognition skills as humans. So, come on, Polly, this way, let's go this way. Good girl, come on. Um, so yes, when you're training your dog, when you're being with your dog, your expressions, your body language matters. Come on, Polly. Hey, Freckles. Polly's on leash because she's got a, a spinal injury. And uh, we are waiting to go in for an operation on that. Um, come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. Good girl. So, the, the evolution of Polly's back injury you can document through my videos. Um, <laughs> but, so, I wanted to emphasize the point about being... Um, happy yourself. If we're going to build a collaborative relationship with our dogs, uh, it's important to let them know when we're happy. It's important to have a full range of body expressions and emotions. Um, I don't think that we should be out expressing rage and, and Polly um, and emotions like that. Those are very scary. If you are angry, the dogs can usually tell. If you're stressed, the dogs can tell. Um, if you're happy and you're enjoying life, the dogs can tell. Polly! Good girl. Whoop! Good girl. Nice girl. Good girl. Good shake off. All right. We have a lovely little hole in the fence that my dad built for me. So, <laughs> Good dogs. Good dogs. Come on. Get in. Come on, Guapo. Through. I have to hold it for you. There you go, Gops. Come on, Polly. Whoop. Oh, and yeah, yes, you can see my, my lovely array. This is my walking attire. <laughs> All right, so body language. Um, be thankful, be happy, enjoy your life. Love you guys. Have a great morning. As you can see, we are enjoying the absolute beauty and quietness that happens on a foggy day. We are in the clouds. <laughs>